proved this wrong. Welcome back. Well, today on the abrasive one and a half, we're going to do the flood coolant. And I don't know if I'm going to get a bath or not, so I got some long pants on. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to go. Let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to grind. Okay. Here I have a piece of 5 8 by 6 inch. I don't even know how long the darn thing is. I know how much I paid for it, but I'm bouncing all over the place. Sorry, or handheld today. 16 inches. Yeah, 8 inch. So it's 8 by 16 by 5 8. And this is what we're going to surface. What I'd eventually like to make out of it is a platform to mount some equipment on to turn center, to turn in between centers. There we go, I said it. I got it all out in one mouthful. Um, I've got a power head, but I don't know if it's going to be long enough after I get the power head mounted to it. I'd need something probably about 10 inches longer and that would have cost me a whole lot more money. I wanted to go with one inch because after surfacing and putting a couple grooves in it for mounting what I want to mount, I wouldn't have much thickness left. So I was thinking half inch, but I got five eighths. So let's take it over here on the grinder. And as you can see, it's still got all the garbage on it, but we're just trying to get it cleaned up just enough. There we go, and I can turn on that mag chuck. We're going to get it cleaned up just enough That's where we can play with it. Um, even if I don't make anything with it right now, I just got it so I can do some wet grinding. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now, I really don't know what to expect. Mag Chuck's holding it on there. Um, I have never turned on the cutting fluid. So, let me go ahead and get an extension cord over here. And I'll be right back with you. I need that for the coolant pump. Seems the valve doesn't want to shut it off all the way, so I do got a couple little drips out of it, but nothing got up on the wheel. So we don't want any of that. That's one thing I was told is to never turn on your coolant if the wheel is not spinning. So before I even play around, we're going to start this one up. I'll lower it down a little bit, and then we'll see about what kind of coolant flow level we need. My travel is okay. How far can I go? Okay. There, right there. So I'm gonna go back just a just a little bit more on this. Because about the only thing wrong with this grinder is down here on the geared track, two, maybe three of the gear are broken off, so I've, I'm limited. I'm about an inch and a half shorter on my travel on this side than what I really need to be. And if you go all the way to the end, 
There we go. I, I got plenty of room to stop here. I've got it marked on this side just for my reference here. I got a X for stop here, stop here on the safe zone. I've got enough, about another inch and a half of travel, but and then I have it on the other side so I don't bang anything. Yeah, I know, get to it wrong. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the anticipation level is high over here at Flathead Rollins Garage as I'm about to fire up the uh, race of one and a half for the very first time with coolant. I thought I'd throw a little announcer voice in there. I think that's about all we need. Oh, a little more than that, maybe. Okay. Don't forget the mag chuck. Yeah, you probably want to see me turn up that water flow, don't you? I just might have to. here for just a second. I'm going to have to do a comparison. I don't have one of those hand, handy dandy infrared thermometers, but what I'm going to have to do is trot my little butt over to Harbor Freight. Wow. Uh, because they're having a sale right now and maybe I can pick up one of those. I'm going to come down one, two, three thousand. That ought to clean that up just fine. Matter of fact, yeah, let's leave it at three. Let's, let's play with the coolant level just a little bit. There we go. One full rotation on the step over.
Now I did not dress that wheel out because the finish here wasn't going to be too critical. I just wanted to play with the coolant. And we're going to do a spark pass. That'll make much of a difference. Gentlemen, there you have it. Got a little bit of water on the ground. It's not much. But since I had to turn the water on after I started the wheel, I think I'm going to be shutting the water off now. But just before then, I'm going to kick it in a little bit higher. Yeah, that thing will definitely give you a bath. So, blood coolant, I think it's fun to play with. I don't know when I'd ever actually need it. I better turn off the pump here. I'm going to go ahead and let this run down for a couple of minutes and let the water drain out of here, or the coolant drain out of here, and then I'll bring you back. Yeah, I've been wiping it just a little bit, staying clear of uh, big pink right there. I wouldn't want to get tangled up with that in a rag or something. I'm just letting it spin down for a while. I don't know how long I have to spin. Um, Steve, if you're out there, let me know how long I should probably have to let this doggone thing spin, or stand, or anybody else. So here's the finish I got. You know, I did not finish, I mean, I did not surface this wheel, or dress the wheel. So, the finish I got is what I got, but all I was doing, like I say, is I was playing with the flood coolant. I let this thing spin down for quite a while before I shut it off. So, no reason you guys could, should sit here for the whole time, but... So, you can see the striations that are in it, but I, I can't feel them. Anyway, that's what she does with flood coolant. I thought it was pretty cool, especially when I cranked it up pretty high there. I don't know where any instance I would need flood coolant, but... I was going to put a filter on this, but I wasn't sure what kind of filter. I think I'm going to build a box that hangs on the side of it that this hose dumps into. And that box has like a screen medium or something, but... Depending on how fast I turn the water on, I might just have to put the filter around the pump itself. I don't know. But anyway. Well, I'm looking for input. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This Ron.